In this A-level IB chemistry video, we're going to be looking at a second type of intermolecular force known as London dispersion forces or London forces. Now, the crucial thing to be aware of with London forces is that they are the weakest of intermolecular forces. In a previous video, we met hydrogen bonding, which is the strongest of the intermolecular forces. Now, London forces are found between non-polar molecules and London forces are all due to the redistribution of electrons. So in non-polar molecules, electrons can be unevenly spread. And this produces temporary instantaneous dipoles. So temporary because they're not permanent, instantaneous they occur extremely quickly. Because we have dipoles, we mean that part of the molecule will be electron rich at one particular time, which means that it will be negatively charged. And the other side will be electron deficient, so that will be positively charged. But these are all relative, they're not really that either negative or positive. Now this temporary instantaneous dipole can induce or cause another dipole to arise in a neighbouring particle, which means that you can have a weak attraction between the two particles, and that's what a London force really is. Because this is a fairly complicated concept to understand, let's have a look at hydrogen, which is an example of a molecule that has London forces. So hydrogen is diatomic, remember, consists of two atoms. And because there's only one electron in the outer shell of hydrogen, you end up with this situation. Notice that, as always, for London forces, we need it to be a non-polar molecule, which it is. Now, just to write a quick description of what we can see in this hydrogen molecule, we can see that it consists of a positive nucleus, because remember, it contains a single proton surrounded by an electron cloud, and this electron cloud is able to change position. So each hydrogen molecule consists of a positive nuclei surrounded by an electron cloud. Now this electron cloud is able to change position. So that means that at any one snapshot in time, one part of the hydrogen molecule might have a slightly higher electron density and the other part might have a slightly lower electron density. And this is what induces the temporary dipole. So let's try and show this with a pictorial representation. Here's the nucleus of each of the hydrogen atoms which make up that hydrogen molecule. Because the left hand atom has become electron rich, you can see it's a bit bigger, it has a delta negative charge. The right hand atom has become slightly electron deficient, so it has a delta positive charge. How would this be attracted to a second hydrogen molecule? Well, in this case, the left-hand atom again is electron-rich, so it's slightly negative, it's a bit bigger. The right-hand hydrogen is slightly positive, so we can see that we have opposite charges here, and therefore there will be an attraction, and this is what London forces are all about.